Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show how the keyword in works in SQL. And let's start with a simple query. Let's say I am seeking uh, for drivers which are German, French, or Italian. So uh, one way of doing it is basically like this, where nationality is equal to German, German, or nationality is equal to French or or nationality is equal to Italian and here there's got to be an or not a PR right so that's one way of, of doing this query save it and let's run it and there we go now, a simpler or more, another way of doing this query is to say, to use the keyword in, and in has two parents, and within these parents, you can put the diverse values you're looking for, for instance, German, comma, French, and then comma, Italian, and let's close the paren. And that's the same thing as saying, I need all drivers whose nationality is either German, French, or Italian and save that and if I run that then I'd have the same thing now I can obviously add here uh, Spanish uh, some matter with me today can't I spell Spanish and if I run that now then now I have the Spanish in addition to the other three so that's that's one way of, of, of doing in or using in but another way of using it is you can place a complete query within those parentheses. So let's take an example. I, in that database, we have a second table called constructors. In constructors, there's also a field called nationality. And let's go and browse data. And let's look at nationality. So these are the constructor nationalities that we got uh, in, in there. Now, what I would like to find is, based, I would like to find which drivers come from the same nations as a constructor. So for, for instance, I know that uh, we don't have a constructor from Colombia. So I do not expect to see any drivers from Colombia because there's no constructor from Colombia. So, and that's, that's the point of this uh, query. So for instance, where nationality in, in and now, I, I write my complete query in here, select, and then nationality from constructors. So what that, what that, constructors. So what that means that in this query, what I'm doing, let me just uh, open it up a bit. What I'm doing is I'm limiting the drivers I'm showing to those drivers who come from, an, from a nation as a constructor does. So for instance, I am not aware of a constructor that comes from Colombia. I'm not aware of any constructor from Portugal. I'm not aware of any constructor from, uh, let me see, um, I don't know, Poland and hence, the, 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 the drivers, but we have drivers from Poland, we have drivers from Colombia, and we have drivers from Portugal, but they will not appear in this query because there's no constructors from that, uh, um, from that nation. And that's that limitation we set through this query here. So now it, you can imagine this query delivers a list of countries and the in works with that list delivered by that query. And we can do it even better just to limit the number of countries returned by that query, we say this thing, and so we get each, each country just once instead of you know having each country multiple times. Right, so now if I save that and run it, now we have, you see now here, we have those drivers which come from the same countries as a constructor does. And you see now, for instance, um, I know we got a Polish driver. There's no Polish drivers here because there's no constructor. We have Portuguese drivers. There's no uh, Portuguese drivers here. We have Brazilian. Yeah, because we have a constructor from Brazil. If I'm not mistaken, that was the Fittipaldi team back in the 70s. 
So you see, within, you're able to build complex queries um, very easily.